Answers in Genesis and Cedarville College present. Answers with Ken Ham. A 12-part video series defending the Bible from the very first verse. Today's question, did God create in six literal days? And now, Ken Ham. You know, the very first verse of the Bible says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. If I was to teach that verse in church after church after church across America or Bible college, seminaries, I'm sure most people would agree with me. Of course, God created. But you know what? If I was to insist that God created in six literal days, do you think most people even in our churches would agree with me? You know what the answer is? No, they wouldn't. I found the majority of Christian leaders, the majority of theologians, the majority of uh, Christian college professors will not insist that God made everything in six literal days. Many of them say millions of years or, or billions of years or something like that. And so what I want to do in this particular session is to talk about those days of creation because I'm going to make a very bold statement here. If we don't believe in six literal days, we actually open the door to the collapse of Christian morality in our nation. Now, that, how can I get from six days to, to Christian morality? Well, let's have a look at this. You know what's fascinating to me? When you look in the Bible, in the Old Testament, the word day is used in the singular or plural, plural form over 2,000 times. You know what is fascinating? Do you know, do you know what is just so mind-boggling? The only time I find people basically questioning what the word day means is in Genesis 1. Do you ever hear, hear, hear people questioning what the word day means in Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua? I mean, you know, when Joshua marched around Jericho, do you hear people saying, I wonder if it was a day or if it was a million years, you know, marching around Jericho? I mean, you don't hear that, do you? The only place you hear people really questioning what the word day means is in Genesis chapter 1. Now, why is that? Because, see, if you just take the Bible alone without any outside influences at all, just the Bible on its own, would you ever get the idea of millions of years or billions of years? The answer is no. You never get that from just the Bible alone. When you take the Bible on its own, you only get the idea of, of thousands of years. Of course, many people say, but wait a minute, what about all these dating methods? Iridium, uh, uh, rubidium, strontium, and uranium lead, and potassium argon, and all sorts of dating methods. I'm not going to talk about those in this particular session because all those dating methods are based on assumptions. We have lots of research material in our books and magazine that you can obtain to find out more about that. But let me just say this. Every single age dating method is based upon a change with time, you know, radiometric dating methods or influx of salt in the oceans or erosion of the land or whatever it happens to be. Every one of those methods is based on assumptions in relation to the past that can't be proved. And in fact, you often get whole ranges of dates from zero years to millions to hundreds of millions to billions. In fact, you could come up with a dating method for any age of the earth that you really wanted. And the other interesting thing is that 90% of all those age dating methods, 90% of them give dates far younger than evolutionists require. So you see, there's something wrong with those. But I want to challenge us on this basis. If we start with just the Bible alone, and it's obvious that God made everything in six days just thousands of years ago. Are we prepared to believe that and then recognize there must be something wrong with man's theories? So let's have a look at this in, in a little bit more detail. What happened in the past was this. Scientists handed the idea of millions and billions of years to theologians who said, hmm, what are we going to do with these millions? 